Hey there, geeks. Tim with MajorGeeks.com. Take a look at how to use Task Manager to find out what processes and apps are using your power consumption, which will tell you, for example, your processor, your graphics card, and your hard drive, which one's using all the resources. You have to be kind of up-to-date on Windows. This was added in Windows 10, probably 2019. But anyway, press your Windows key plus X and look for Task Manager and click on that right here. If you see this window and not a full-size screen, look for the More Details tab. See that right there? There you go. All right, now, typically Task Manager, depending on how your computer's set up, you're only going to see this. In some cases, if your Task Manager is small, you won't even see it. So you might need to scroll this right here over to see both power usage, here we go, and over time. So this first one is live. This one here is a call it over time, it's roughly two minutes. So it's a nice way to take a look at what's wasting your resources. So let's say for example, here's what I'll do, I'll push this out of the way and let you see. As I'm playing with Google Chrome, it jumped to moderate. So you can monitor this stuff and see what's using up all of your resources. Now watch this, let's open a bunch of tabs. You know, Google Chrome will, there you go. There's your very high. And sometimes you can click this too to figure out what's at the top of your list and just watch what's going on here. This will give you a pretty good idea what's hogging up your system resources. So pretty simple little video, there's not much to do with it. We have the article of course, look at that, it's pretty funny. We have the article linked to in the video description if you like because if you scroll on down of course there's a pictures to go along but this is pretty easy, you guys can do this one. And if you scroll down to the bottom there's some really great related stories you can see right here discovering problems, creating shortcuts, um, changing how everything looks, changing your default tab, meaning I like that story. So in other words, when you open Task Manager, you could force it to open to performance or startup or services by default if you have a preference. So I like that guide a lot as well. So there you go. Quickie little video, only about two minutes. I figure you guys might dig knowing that that's sitting right there waiting for you to help you solve problems. So we appreciate you guys watching as always. So yeah.